uh, ensuing disasters that followed. Anahita Sedegatar says the insurance company really doesn't have a case, but Lisa Giovanazzo says it does. How can it have a case? Because it seems to me to be an insurance company, Lisa, balking on making good. All right, I admit, Anahita, I mean, yeah. I just think it, it, it's a way, maybe, and, I, and believe me, in a battle of, you know, uh, city politicians and an insurance company, uh, it's like, who do you rescue when they both fall out of a boat? I say let them both drown. But having said that, who's <laughs> less slimy here? Right. Well, I think the insurance companies are being pretty slimy here, Neil, and I don't really care if you believe in climate change or don't believe in climate change. At the end of the day, insurance companies are here to insure against risk. That's why people buy insurance. That's why insurance companies charge premiums. And in this lawsuit, Farmers is essentially saying, we're not here to evaluate risk. It's the city's responsibility. You guys should have foreseen these damages. You guys need to take care of that. And that is so oh, ridiculous. That's the point. And at the end of the day, I think yeah, what they're but, but, trying but to do... Right. A good They're point, trying doesn't to shift. No, they I hear what you're pay. saying. Annie, they but, want but, to shift it to taxpayers. And I think it, that's a little unfair in a way because you you hire and get a, a policy hoping that you're covered, mm -hmm. and now this comes back to you. These guys come back to us, and then no, we're going to. Yes. All right, I understand that, but Anahita, to me, it sounds yeah. like the insurance company that t says we're not covering you because you had a pre-existing condition, and all of a sudden I'm saying exactly. to myself, well, I didn't know I had the pre-existing condition before, mm -hmm. but how do you explain your way out of it? Well, you can't have it both ways. So the insurance company is saying, yeah, we paid out on these claims. Now we want to get our money back because this was an unforeseen circumstance for us. But you cities, you should have known about it. But in the lawsuit, they admit, the farmer's insurance company admits, they were privy to the same studies. So to mm. me, it seems kind of ridiculous. I think they're trying to shift the burden to the taxpayers here, Neil. And what a yeah. slippery slope this creates, right? Because if the courts agree with farmers in this case, then what is the insurance com company going to do? They're going to say, oh, anytime we pay out on a medical claim. Let's say someone comes in because they were dehydrated You're from the heat. Well, no, we're talking about you should have given immunity. Insur you we're have talking about the exception in the immunity. Well, you should have given immunity. You we're talking have about the exception in the immunity well, language really. for government. Yes, not really yes. immunity. I think it sets a slippery slope for, for insurance no, companies it, it, in terms it, it of them not the wanting to pay on out on It puts the onus on government to do the right thing with how they spend the money, and they should have improved infrastructure. I don't know which way to go on this one, so ladies, I'll defer to both of you on that for another occasion. Meantime, um, you, you, you know why Vladimir...